me to tell EX. We're currently on our way to Texas to visit Anthony's parents for a little bit. But before we do, I thought I would show you guys everything that I packed for Poppy. I have the list pretty narrowed down. So let's jump into that and I'll show you guys how we do it in the airport. Two days before we go anywhere, I love to pack for Poppy just so the next day I have time to get restock items. And I pack everything for her in a carry-on. That way if our luggage gets delayed or gets lost, God forbid, we have the carry-on with us and she still has all her items that she needs. Poppy has been on four flights now. She is 10 months old, so it was a lot easier traveling with her now than when she was really, really young and was feeding way more times during the day, so I had to bring a lot more gear. Right now, I'm currently exclusively breastfeeding, so I don't do any bottles or any pumping. So that has been really, really helpful with traveling on a plane, and I highly recommend it if you're considering breastfeeding. It makes everything really, really convenient for traveling. And it's cut down on the amount of items I have to bring. Here's everything I put in her carry-on and I'm gonna go through it piece by piece. So we're gonna be gone for about a week. I take into consideration how long we're gonna be gone for and I start with her outfits. So usually I bring two outfits per day, but because she's a little bit bigger now and she doesn't soil her clothes as frequently, it's a lot easier to pack. We also are gonna be at Anthony's parents' house for a couple days, so I can use their laundry if needed. And if you're gonna be somewhere with a laundry, it is highly recommended to pack half the amount of clothes, that way you can just do the laundry there. So I'm bringing, I love this brand, Pink Chicken. These little avocados, so cute. It's gonna be in the 90s there, so I packed everything that's just really lightweight and easy. This is a little terry cloth cover up from Baby Gap, and I have a little piece from Zara in here. So I did six outfits, and that's if I get her ready every day, which is not gonna happen. Some days she's just gonna be in her sleepers. I brought six sleepers. And these are the ones from Tay Baby. They're so soft, literally one of my favorite brands for the sleepers. I have Kite Baby. They are also so soft. Mori makes really nice ones too. Super soft and she's always in sleepers at home. So six should be good for our trip. Under her sleepers each night, she always wears a onesie. These are the Gerber organic ones. And I just had to get her new sizes because she's already in size 12 months clothing and she just turned 10 months. So she's really tall. I'm packing six for the trip. Typically I would pack more if we weren't gonna be buying laundry. So that's really convenient. And she has her sleep sack. This one is from Kite Baby. I also ordered one recently from, I believe it was called Dreamland Baby. And I'm waiting to get that in the mail, but I saw that on Shark Tank, it's pretty cool. But same kind of concept where it has a little bit of the weight. So when she sleeps, she doesn't fall out of her blanket. This is a travel one. The one she has, I don't have to bring it. And it's been nice and convenient to have two of them. I bring crib sheets because anytime we go to a hotel room, I request that a crib be sent to the room and I bring our own sheets. It smells like our house. That way we don't have to travel with a travel pack and player crib. So for our outfits, I also brought these little sweaters. They're very lightweight. This one's from Zara. I mean, it's gonna be so hot, but just in case. I bring quite a bit of swimsuits, especially for this trip because we're gonna be hanging out in the pool. I have a hat from Flat Happy. Everything that I'm packing, the exact packing list is in the description. So you can see that exactly how I mark everything. But overall, I am very particular about Poppy being protected from the sun. So I bring two hats. I have a little new bikini for her. This one's from Kiara's brand. How cute is this? I cannot. The baby swim is so cute. This one I thought was adorable. It's like a little bikini. What a brand is this one from? Bon Bon Swim. So I like this. This is also from Flat Happy, and it's, it's stained from all the watermelon juice she had the last time. But this I put on over her swimsuit. I reapply the sunblock, but this is really convenient. So I like to bring enough to where I can hang them up to dry after, but she doesn't have to be put into an, a wet swimsuit the next day. So I like to bring a variety and I also like to bring one that's long sleeve. So that way, again, it takes one last step out of having to reapply so often. I bring a pack of coterie diapers. When we were in New York, I actually was able to get some at Whole Foods because they're in store there now. But if I'm not gonna be near Whole Foods, I like to bring a full pack. I'm bringing little swimmers from Huggies. These are the swim diapers I use. This is her, I would call it her toiletry bag. This is nice because I keep 
all her items here. So when I'm changing her diaper or when we get to the hotel, everything I need to give her a bath is in here too. I have her hairbrush. This is this nail file set that I got on Amazon and it's really, really tiny, but it is the best thing I've found to cut her nails. I have sunblock. I always use a zinc mineral sunblock on her and I coat her. So I like to have two of them. This one is really good, the Bebo Botanicals. And then this one is Hello Bello. They're both clean, have good ingredients. So these are really nice. These are from Amazon, these silicone travel. I got 12 of them total, but we split them up between Jaden, Amini, Anthony, and Poppy. But this is the California Baby. It's a two-in-one, the shampoo and body wash. So I packed that for her. And then I have Baby Tylenol. This is the dye-free one, just in case anything, if she's teething or let's say she gets a fever, God forbid. But I like to have that handy. I have the Oogie Bear. This is like the booger scooper thing. and. It's really convenient. The Honest Diaper Ash Cream. I put this on Poppy every single time I change her diaper. My doctor actually asked when I took her to the doctor if she had a diaper ash when I was when she was getting her checkup because she had this on her. It's just so preventative and she's never had a diaper rash because of this. This is the cream I like to bring in case she gets chapped cheeks. This is the Jelly Mousse from California Baby and this is so cute i love putting this in her hair so when i do her hair i'll slick it with this and then use the brush so this is like everything i need to get her ready i also have a thermometer in case anything happens and i have a few bows i want to do her hair so that's everything in her toiletry bag this is her prada diaper bag that i love but i pack it completely empty because on the flight i bring her carry on it's the bag that we use for my items and hers but it's kind of big to bring around as a diaper bag underneath her stroller. So I bring this empty and flat. So when we get there, I can repack it and use it as the one that we're gonna use for the day. For her toys and gear, this is something that I have to pack in the morning because she's asleep right now. But I have the list again, linked in the description, but I bring her stroller, the Duna, which is a stroller and a car seat. That has been so helpful when getting either an Uber or a car, you just fold it down and it connects to the, it becomes a car seat. So you don't have to bring a car seat and a stroller. And I bring her Nanit, which is the sleep monitor that we use, which I really, really love, but at some hotels, really depends on the Wi-Fi service they have. Sometimes at the Airbnb, we've even had an issue with connecting. In those cases, I bring a sound machine because the Nanit has a sound feature on it, which I love and Poppy's really used to sleeping with the white noise. So this has helped me. This is the, I think it's Hatch Baby or Hush Baby. So those are really crucial items as far as toys and gears. Everything else is linked in the description. And now I'm gonna jump into Poppy's diaper bag that we use for the plane. First things first, this is the diaper bag. I guess it's not a diaper bag, I guess it's a carry-all, but this is from Louis Vuitton and I love this size. This has Poppy's initials, Poppy Wren, Xavier, so cute. And this has worked really well for the flight. It's a really good size. I love that it has a zipper. These bags are from Evolve Together and they're made from plants but I like keeping them in here. This is her silicone bib. I try not to use any plastic if Poppy is gonna be eating out of it or using it on the day to day. So I like silicone. This bib is really nice because it catches everything on the plane. If she's drinking water or having a snack, it doesn't go all over the place. I have her silicone straw. This is nice because I can put it in a like a water and her silicone spoon, which is really nice if I'm feeding her something I'm eating. And I like to keep it in the bag because if it gets messy, then I can just put it in the bag after it doesn't get on anything else, especially any of her extra clothes. This bag is really crucial. This is the bag that I'm gonna pack for if I need to go to the restroom on the flight. And changing the diaper on the flight is a little bit more of an issue because the little thing pulls down, it's hovering over the tiny seat in the, in the bathroom. So. I like to be really concise and quick with it. So in her diaper bag, I put this bag in there and it has one diaper, which is the coterie, and it has her white coterie, and it has her diaper ash cream. So I have 
two. One is in this bag and one is in the toiletry bag. And then I also have the bag in case it smells and I can put it in here and then throw it in the trash. So it's considerate to everyone. I also have her changing pad. This one is has a little bit of a padding, which is nice because the thing that hovers is really small and it's really hard. So I don't want it to hurt her little head. So I bring, basically when I change her in the bathroom on the flight, I bring this bag in there and I go like that with, and I have her on my head. So that is really important. This is the nursing cover that is, I think the brand is Simca Rose. I usually like it in black, but I've lost it maybe twice now. I left it on the plane both times. So I'm really careful now about checking to see if I leave anything on the flight after. But this is really nice because with nursing, I just put her inside here and it wraps around. So on the flight, it's almost like creates a little cocoon for her to, she falls asleep. So she'll nurse and fall asleep on me for takeoff and landing. And if she just gets a little fussy, I just throw her on. And it's nice because then if she pulls off, I'm still covered. This has been so nice. It's so comfortable. I just cuddle up and this thing is a lifesaver. I always like to pack a few toys. Books are really important because she loves this. This brand is Jelly Cat and is really nice because it has all the touch and feel. And she's really into that right now. It's really cute. But we don't do any screen time on the flight. I want her to be using her brain and this toy. She really likes this. She thinks it's a phone. So between her napping with nursing and playing a few toys, she stays pretty occupied. I pack two onesies in case she gets soiled on the first one. And I pack these little leggings for her. Every time I travel with her, I put her in a onesie. It's a long sleeve, almost like a sleeper. It's a black one, that way she spills anything. It doesn't show stains, I guess. But I like to have something to change her into just in case that gets soaked or for whatever reason and she still can be cuddly on the plane because sometimes it gets really cold in the flight. Then I pack a blanket for her, which I haven't had to use that often. I just like to have it just in case. But because this kind of works as a blanket when she falls asleep, this is a just in case, but I haven't used it as much. I always bring two plastic baggies in case she soils any of her clothing and or gets anything really like say she spills water all over the place at least it's not getting the rest of the bag wet i'll put it in here for the most part bringing four diapers for the flight has been really convenient again because i have the other diapers in the carry-on if let's say she goes through all these diapers i can still pull them out on the flight but i have three outside of this bag and i have one in this bag I have the organic cotton dry wipes from Honest. I like to use these for her nose in case you know she has a runny nose or need to wipe down anything. These are nice. I always pack a sun hat for her just in case. Say we got stranded somewhere on a layover and it was really sunny. <laughs> or I would pack a beanie if it was cold. But because we're going to really hot weather, I pack her two pairs of socks. I also pack my items in this bag as well. So I'll have my wallet. My passport. I like this spray. This one is from True Botanicals and it is so nice. So I'll bring this and this is the new road lip gloss that is so nice and moisturizing. And I have a few other lip glosses in there. I have hand cream. Just very basics for me go in this bag. These are really important. This is the hand sanitizer wipes from Everyone for Everybody. And this is the spray hand sanitizer. It's the same brand. These are really nice because they're clean ingredients. So if I'm wiping down something for Poppy, say her toy drops on the floor, and I always wipe down the seats with these, I bring a little first aid kit. This is from Johnson. Johnson, Johnson, just in case. I haven't had to use it so far, but you know, just in case if I was on the flight. And granted, if we were on the flight and something happened, I'm sure they have band-aids on the flight, but just in case. I forgot that this toy, I like, she, this is her little Sophie the giraffe, and it's a good teether. She's her top teeth are coming in right now, so I like to have something that she can chew on. And again, that's when that silicone straw comes in really handy. For her water, I like this one, stainless steel. This is really nice for traveling because it doesn't leak. So I got this at Target. And these I got on Amazon. This is actually for if you're using formula, so you're supposed to put the formula in here in the water, and then the snack was supposed to be on top. So this is a really nice travel snack container and they come apart, but I've just been putting in her Happy Baby Puffs. I give her a few on the flight. 
as a little snack. Usually when we go through security, I'll get either a hard boiled egg or some fruit from one of the stands, but I'll have her eat breakfast in the lounge before or, and then she'll eat lunch when we land. She also likes Lara bars and I like them too. So give her a little bit of that. It has only a few ingredients. It has dates, almonds, apples, walnuts, raisins, and cinnamon. So everything that she can have, she has little pieces of it and loves it. I always like to have at least one new toy for her or it doesn't need to be a new toy. It could be something that she hasn't seen in a while and I'm pulling it forward in her toy box just so she's more distracted and thinks it's something new to play with. I got her this book recently. It's the same brand, but it's just the dog version. I thought this is really cute with it because it has like a little blinky and I thought I could read her the book and do this. Jaden helped me pick this out for her recently. They're little flashcards and they're the silicone and that should keep her occupied. My mom's also coming with us. So I thought this was really cute because she calls her Nana and this is something that they can read together on the flight. So that's everything that's in my carry-all bag on the flight. First things first, we have to bring the Duna stroller. It turns into a car seat and a straight to a stroller, which is so convenient for traveling. This is also the stroller we brought on the Disney cruise. I would say it is a little small for every day with the storage, but for traveling, it works out really, really great. We love it. We just got through security and I'm all here. Yay, so excited. She's finally seen how I travel with Poppy too. Say hi to Nana. Yay. So basically I have to take her out of the car seat to get her through. I checked this through and oh kisses. Oh. Oh. And then afterwards what I'll typically do is hold her and I'll just push this until we get to the lounge because then she's already out of it and I hold her up. And the lounge is usually pretty quick over here too. Also a huge advantage with traveling with baby is TSA pre-check and clear. We get through so quick with her and it's nice not to take off my shoes, don't have to take out any electronics. So I, if you fly often, it's really worth it. Delta Lounge. I'll try to give her little pieces of food that she can eat. Like this is the cucumber. Give her some banana. It's a little bit of the potato, but it's curry. I don't know if it's too spicy. Oh, no, no, let's not touch that one. Okay. And they have some hard boiled eggs. So I just gotta see what they have that I can give her. My dad's enjoying the lounge. <laughs> What'd you get? Some ribs, some glass noodle beef thing. Hmm. Well, the lounge looks so good in here now that they redid everything. We made it. The only thing I would say is that I probably packed a little bit too much in her diaper bag for a shorter flight, but it's okay, better safe than never. Look at this, how messy she is in the flight. <laughs> Good thing she put her in black. My mom eat on the flight was a lot helpful this time too, but typically she doesn't fly with us. So just feel like overall it went really well. And if you missed it, check out our New York vlog. It's linked here.